Yes, he's my brother. He's my loving brother. That's the only loving brother I had. And I don't have no more brother like him again. I love him a lot. The anguished tears of Marceline Agnes Henry accompany the hearse that carries her brother away. Police officers are also on the scene at the Cicero home where Richard Alexander Henry took his last breath. They are investigating the circumstances that led to the death of the 62-year-old man. Agnes Henry says her brother took ill on Tuesday morning. He was sitting down there. So when I tell him what is wrong with him, he's looking sick. He don't answer. He couldn't talk. So I tell him he looks sick a lot. He don't answer. So I went inside to take my tea because I had to go to town. When I come out, I see him lying down there as he's on death row. I call him, he don't answer. I went inside of my home, so I take some medicine I have, I rub him up, and then he starts sizzling and he's doing poop, poop, poop. So I tell Richard, you're going to die in my hands. Henry had her neighbor call for an ambulance. That neighbor, Virginia Melrose, says the ambulance took some time but eventually showed up. Henry says the emergency workers refused to transport her brother to the hospital. When the ambulance come, they look at him, they say he drink rum. The people take him from there. He was bleeding in his forehead, he did get some marks and he was bleeding from his mouth. And they take him and they put him back in his house and they take the ambulance and they go with it empty. The lifeless body of Richard Alexander Henry was discovered by Melrose and another neighbor. She and the dead man's sister now have harsh words for the emergency personnel who left him lying on his bed on Tuesday morning. They are basically the experts and they said he was intoxicated. I didn't think otherwise. I just thought what they said was true, although I thought perhaps he was sick. It disappoints. If I have to talk about them, I'll talk about them because you have to pick up sick people and bring to hospital. If I am sick now and I call the ambu, it doesn't matter what had happened, bring me hospital. When I reach there, the doctor will know what is wrong with me. Henry admits her brother was a drinker. However, she maintains he was not drunk when he fell ill. My brother didn't have no problem. The only thing he had, he didn't use to fight, he didn't look for trouble. He used to drink his little rum and that's all. That's the only thing he had doing. But he wasn't drunk in the morning. When he fell down, he was sick. He wasn't drunk. Police investigations into this latest incident are continuing. Richard Alexander Henry was 62. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.